Good night, everybody. Miss Lisa here. We've got one more minute and then we will start. All right. This is ballet, beginning ballet, level one. And I want to welcome you to my living room. You're going to need a chair for ballet or a ballet bar if you have that. And what I'm going to do is teach you some bar work. Then after bar, we're going to come center floor. We've got a center floor combination, an adagio, some jumps across the room if you have space, and maybe some pirouettes as well. All right, so we're going to start in parallel. Some people call this six, six position. There's five positions of the feet. Let's review those. First position, second position. I like a wide second like this. Some people make smaller seconds. Third position goes to the middle of the foot. I'm kind of in a shadow, so I don't know what to do. There we go, third position, fourth position, and fit, toe and heel. So you can always find those on the internet and practice those. We're gonna start in sixth position or parallel. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be going right toe. So we're just basically warming up the feet. We're getting some range of motion in the toes. A lot of times our toes, if you haven't worked your toes, they're stiff, they crack, they feel like they are ancient. You need to oil them. So we're gonna take right foot, left foot. I'll turn this way, five, then six, seven, seven, and eight. You're gonna put the right foot back, calf stretch four, five, and six, seven, close it in. Left foot, right foot, so you just do the other side, five and six and seven, eight. Lean into the left foot, stretch the calf. Toe is pointing straight forward, don't do any turnout back there. All right, seven, eight. You're gonna go up in parallel. Your heels are touching, so don't have a space, really push them together. Balance, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down, up, down, up, down, open feet. Now at this point, you're gonna pivot around kind of where the base of the rib cage starts. So you're gonna be bending in this area, okay? So you're gonna go forward, but the rest of your body is solid, okay? So keep the rest of your body solid, round it forward, circle right, hold and support your neck. All right, side, repeat, forward, right, back, left. Then we'll go the other way, forward, left. It's a big, you're really pivoting around the lower part of the rib cage. All right, and the rest of your body stays nice and solid. Then you'll come up from here. From here, because you'll be dizzy from doing all those circles. So two to the right, two to the left. You're just then going to take a nice little balance in first position, arms low, and then reverse the arms to second, to high fifth, to middle fifth, and to low fifth, and finish. All right, that was the back view of the warm up combination that we're doing. So I want to welcome everybody. And again, my name's Miss Lisa, and we are doing ballet beginning level, and we are at the bar. And you can, like I mentioned before, you can use a chair because that, if you, for, as a substitute, if you don't have a bar. All right, here we go. This music doesn't have any introduction to it. So we're just going to take the right foot, the left foot. Get ready, set, and. And take your right foot back. Five, six. Seven, pull it in, left foot, left, right, left, right, feel the toes cracking. Seven, eight, left foot back. Feet together and up, take your balance. Five, six, heels are together by the way. Down, up, down, up, down, open your feet. We've got the body circle, right, forward, Right, back, support the neck with the neck muscles. Forward. And now we'll go forward and the other direction. Keep the lower portion.
portion of your body solid, engage the glutes. All right, take it up for your balance. Arms are low. I'll turn and face you. You're gonna take your arms to second. Take your arms high. Take your arms middle fifth. Sloping, notice there's not level, they're sloping. And then take it low and finish. Awesome. All right, let's continue on with the plie combination. All right, so in the beginning level, sometimes we face our bar. Sometimes we have our backs to the bar. Now, if we had a bar, we'd stretch our arms out because that's more appropriate. And then sometimes we have our side to the bar. Okay, and the song goes away. So this next combination, we are facing the bar and we are doing first position. All right, so we've got plie and straight. And our goal is to keep our spine nice and erect here. So you don't want to be tipping at all. And this is common for a lot of beginners. This feels right because we're used to squatting, you know, working out and squatting. So it's the opposite of squats. Do not let your bottom stick out. So two plies, two with a nice window, okay? Two elevates, two rises. I'll turn a little bit this way so you can see me. Then from here, you're gonna balance two, three, four, five, six, seven, come down, second position. You're gonna move your feet out. Now you'll have to move both of your feet. If you only move one foot, you might be too far away from your bar. All right, so move your feet out a little bit. Two plies, again, you've got that nice erect spine. Two elevés, like you're going up and down in an elevator. Then this is the port de bras that we usually do. Low, middle, high, and open, and then back down. So that is a standard port de bras in the Chiquetti method. It's called third port de bras. All right, and that's the one we do most of the time. So that's good to know. And a port de bras is just a sequence of arm movements. Port de bras. Your bra is your arm. All right. Then from there, we come down in second. We're going to go back into first position. We're going to bray back. Keep your knees stiff. However, I want your heels to be forward so that you are in a turned out position. All right. Keeping your legs straight is difficult because we're not used to really doing that. We always bend when we walk. Okay. So really focus on keeping those knees straight. A beret doesn't always have the knees straight. A lot of berets have bent knees, except the one you're on is always straight, okay? So we're gonna practice straight knees. All right, here we go, everybody. Plie. Stand nice and tall, nice and flat, nice and erect. Here we go, plie. One. Good, and you're feeling tall through your sternum. Elevate, push down into the ground. Again, you're keeping your knees nice and straight. Take your balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Second position with your feet. Plie, you're going into the toaster, and you don't want to burn your body. Get that bottom in. Two elevates. Elevate needs to rise. And now, arms are low. Arms are middle fit. Arms are high fit. Arms are second. Come down. Go into first position. And take your beret back. Hip, hip, beret. Hip, hip, beret. Or as I used to say, bird, right? And come down. The jokes get worse when it's in the beginning levels. All right. <laughs> Let's continue on. So that's your plie today. We're not doing raw plie. This is just a basic beginning class. If you're joining me and you're more advanced, well, throw some ground plies in as I babble on. All right. We're doing first position. We're going to have, technically, we're supposed to have our backs to the bar, but we can face our bar for this, okay? We're doing tendus and degages. And tendus, well, in French it means to stretch, but in ballet we're stretching our toe. Do not, do not let your foot disengage. 
See that little tap? Boom. You can even hear it. Wrong. Eh. So a tendu stays totally engaged to the floor. Now, what you want to think about as well is that your body weight, actually, you have to shift slightly. So everybody try this. Ooh, you're getting, getting seasick here. So when you tendu out, shift this way, shift your body weight onto this foot. When you tendu out, that is your actual proper position. If you can lift your foot and you don't fall, then you know you've transitioned the weight of your pelvis and your weight of your body onto that supporting foot properly. So let's try it this way. Shift, like you're on a boat, look. So shift this way and tendu. Now lift the foot, are you perfectly balanced? The answer should be yes. So in first position, we're gonna take, um, oh, we're facing our bar. My bad, my bad. You're gonna take right foot, one and two, three and four. You drag it in like you're slicing through the floor with your foot. Another thing you wanna think about, so there is some resistance against the floor. You're pushing, pushing. The other thing that's very important that everybody does incorrectly is they let this knee bend. They let it bend, it goes out and it bends and it gets really sloppy because you're not consciously aware that it's bending. It's not like you're making, I wanna make Miss Lisa mad today, I'm gonna to bend my knee. No, you don't have a sense whether your knee's straight or not. So that's called proprioception and we're building our proprioception. We're building our brain's knowledge of all the body parts and what they're doing at all times. Okay, so you've done four of those. You're going to add four more tendus, but now you're going to do a little change or change. We're going to close it into fifth. So tendu, you're going to close fifth back. Tendu, close fifth front. And again, resist the floor. Cut through the floor with your bottom of your foot. And tendu, as you can see from my point, I get my heel on the ground pretty quickly. All right, and close. Then you're going to continue on with a dégagé. You do disengage off the floor. Dégagé to disengage. Three and first, four and first. And you guessed it, we're doing four more into the fifth. Dégagé, close back. Then change to the front. Dégagé, close back. Dégagé, close front. All right, so go back into first for a minute. Let me peek. Oh, yes, yes, there's one more thing we will do. So just to remind you, four tendus closing into fifth first, and then four closing into fifth. Go back first, and then front, back and front. Then you repeat with the dégagé. I'll just go fast. Four to the side, changing. Now you'll end here. You're going to go up into susu, sur le coup de pied. If you're already familiar with sur le coup de pied, you can just pop right into that. If you're not as familiar, think of it this way. You've got a flexed foot, and that flexed foot is right at your ankle bone. Then your toes have to come to the back. What? So you've got your heel front, your toes back. Now, don't do one of these things. This is what I used to do for about two years of ballet. See my foot? Oh, now that might be your real foot. This is my real foot. All right, so you've got to extend through the ankle all the way. Show that ankle flexibility. If your ankles are stiff, stretch on top of the toes. Okay, stretch on top of the toes for a minute. Carmen, I'm thinking of your toes. They're so flexible, they bend right in half. Liz, I don't know if you're here today. Let's hope you've joined me. Andre, are you here joining us as well? Let's hope so. Logan, I don't know about you. I know you don't have a lot of room at home. All right, so you'll balance in your sur le coup de pied position on releve. Lori might be joining us today too, and test your balance. All right, we'll finish in first position. So face your bar, this will give you a little more stability and a little more sense of where front is. We call it squaring up the body. Your shoulders and your hips are in the same plane, you're square. This is not so square, you're kind of crooked, square up. Oh, square up, okay. Rectangle up, but rectangle sounds weird, so we just say square. Okay, here we go, first position. Right foot's ready. And take it, time to slice it in. Resist the floor, you'll build up the inner thigh muscles. Squeeze. Now our change, our change. Did you close back? Now front. 
Now we do our degaget off the ground. We say as high as a mongoose. And a mongoose is like a ferret. We have them all over the island of St. Thomas. Degaget back. Degaget front. Degaget squeeze it in. Now you take your susu, your cervicut de pie, heel front, toes back. Stay there and the ankle is fully extended. Ah, there's my balance. How about you? Maybe you're a balance, balance queen or king. And I'm, I'm like the little, little princess who could. The little engine that tried. And close it first. Finish. All right. All right. Now let's do the other side. So you're going to just have the other foot. I'm going to do my left foot now so you guys can follow. One second. Let me see if this, if I can get better lighting in my living room. And we have light. All right. Let's try the other side. First position. Here we go. Take it out. In. Really resist the floor. You're building up the inner thigh muscles and your knee is staying straight. Change now. Out. Back. Out. Front. Out. Back. Out. Front. Add the deggy shake. Deggy shake. Just a couple inches off the floor. Five. Six. Now we're going to close in fifth. Go to the back. Front. All right. You've got rising up. Then take heel front, toes back. Sur le coup de pied. Now you remain with this window with your knees pushing back all the way. That doesn't help. Let me try your balance. Looks like I have no leg. <laughs> And finish in first position. And super. All right, I'm just trying to find a position where you guys can see my feet. I should have grabbed the ballet bar from the studio. I might do that and see if I can swing by the studio and get that because it would be so handy. All right, let's do a rond de jambe. And we're going to do a little bit of a flat back. And. You're going to have one hand on the bar. So if your chair was a bar, you would stand about this far away from your bar. And then your hand would be actually about this far in front of you. So it's, it's out here. It's more in front of you than straight to the side. You don't have as much control when your arm is straight to the side, especially if you're balancing and all of a sudden your arm starts to give. You have a little more strength in front of you. Okay? So start in first position. Most dancers, we start in first, or some of us, we start in fifth, but Ronda Jean always goes through first position, no matter what level you are. So we're going to take front and hold. Now, what I want you to do is to avoid that tapping. Do not tap. Really drag it there. Stop at the corner. Stop back and close. Let go of your bar flat back. So let me turn sideways again. We did this last week. So it's truly flat. It's not hunched in the lower area. If you need to bend your knees to get a good flat back, go for it. If you need to touch your legs, do that because I'd rather have your muscles get the proper memory than you to continue to do it wrong. Now, you can always check yourself out by filming yourself with your camera <clears throat> and that way, or like my TV. I can see myself in my TV. And I'm like, oh, okay. So then you'll repeat by double time. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like a door. Reverse today. Back and hold. Corner and hold. Front and hold. First position and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then from there, let's do a, a ballet walk around ourselves. You're going to curve this arm. This arm stays out to the side. And you're going to do ballet walks. Toe. It's a toe 
ball heel. And you have about six of these. So think about that as you're walking around. Don't get too far away from your chair or get there too soon. Six, and then you can kind of finish in seven, eight. Let's do it. Even if you don't have it, follow me. And let's see how that goes. Ronde de Jean. Six, seven, here we go. To the front, hold. To the corner, hold. To the back. Six, first position, let go, flat back. Remember, stick your bottom out. And you're supposed to look down, come up. So your focus is down at the ground, double time. Front, side, back, four, five, six, come up, seven. Let's reverse it all. One, hold, two. Now, in this process, you're thinking of that toe and that knee straight. There's about 77 more things to think about, but let's just think of two of them. Flat back. Look at the floor. Come up. Flatten it all. Double time to the back. Back. Side. Front. Flat back. Five. Six. Come up. Seven. Ballet walks, walk, two, three, four, five, six, seven, finish. All right. So lots of things to think about on the Ronde de Jean, but today we're going to focus on our feet pointed and our leg nice and straight, okay? I'm just trying to get out of the shadows, but it's just not working. All right, let's do that. All right, let's do our other side. We're gonna take the leg away from the bar because, duh, do you wanna really injure your leg and kick the bar? No, so use the leg away from the bar. All right, here we go, rond de jambe. Jambe is leg. Rond means round or circle of the leg. Front, one, two to the corner. Back, close it in first, your knees are straight. Letting go, flat back. Look at the floor. Coming up, five, six, seven, double time. Front, I'm focusing on my knees. Now I'm focusing on my flat back. Come up, reverse the whole combination. One, two, is this knee straight? Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Flat back, one. Now, if you want to look sideways, you have to turn your head sideways. So I'm going to do it. Da -da. Reverse, double time. Here we go. Take it back. Side, front, four, five, six, seven. Round this arm. Walk it this way. Walk away from your bar. Now you crash into your bar. Five, six, finish in first position. Yes, yes. Whew. Now, keeping the knees straight like that, remember people say don't lock your knees. Don't. I think ballerinas, we can do that, or male dancers, because that's how we dance. We always keep our knee. It's not like we're pushing back into it, but the knee is very strong and straight. All right, when you're up on releve, we're really straight legs. You can see that my leg is kind of bending back a little. That's because it's nice and straight, but it's also supported. So I'm thinking about all the muscles that maintain that. Let's do one more thing. Oh, the attitude leg. Bring your bar back to this side. So an attitude is a bent leg. So we do a lot of straight legs here. I just nagged you for 20 minutes about keeping your legs straight. Now I'm letting you bend it. So you're welcome. All right, so we've got passe attitude, grab, extend, float it down. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I believe that is a side. We'll do a side corps de bras. Okay, so we're gonna take from first position. If you're more advanced, you can do fifth. I don't mind. I'm not watching you. I can't see what you're doing. You could be sleeping on your couch. I don't know. One. Um, you're going to take, remember this thing in the beginning that we did? Do, 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 do. You're going to take the foot like that. So you're really stretching the toes. Point the toe to the front of the ankle and slide it up to the knee. 
So one, two, three, four. Attitude side. Don't have your toe pointing at the ground. Have it pointing out a little bit, like someone could polish your toenails. And you're going to grab it. Two. Now, goal. Goal is keeping this leg straight. So push it straight. Two, three, four. See if you can straighten it. Six, seven, eight. Let go. Two, three, four. Float it to a tondu. Not drop it like a brick. Float it to a tondu. Side pour de bras. Three, four. Come up. Push off the leg. And, oh, from here you're going to close it into parallel. Whoa, sixth position. Now, a, cu a couple things before we begin. You need to know your bone structure. And there's three different kinds of leg bone structures, to be generally speaking. You've got, what I've got is bow-legged. I'm kind of bow-legged. Um, the second one is knock knees. Your knees touch. Your legs are straight, of course, but your knees touch and your feet cannot touch. And those... If you've got those bone structure, you've got to maneuver. A lot of times your knees are like, okay, i got to pick one that's going to be in front. So it's a little difficult, but you can always do it. Lots of dancers have it. And then you could be the third type that's like this, perfectly straight legs. You put your feet together and everything, when your legs are straight, your knees touch. Oh, there, I can kind of do it. All right, so whatever you have, you know you have to work around. If your knees are touching here and you can't touch your feet together all the way, you can have a little space. All right, so after that 20-minute lecture, you're going to roll down to the ground. Let me turn sideways so you can watch. So you're trying to get through each vertebrae, and then you're going to try to touch the floor. Now, if you can't touch the floor, of course, you can hold your bar so you don't fall over. But then you're going to bend, and you're not bending too far. It's just so you can get your hands on the floor. Your body can touch your legs and stretch it up. And then plie and two and straighten and up. We'll do three of them. Plie and two and straighten. Stay there. Five, six, seven, eight. You'll roll through. Do not let your hands touch you. Let gravity take over. Roll it up. And voila, you have arrived. First position. All right. So let's take it from first. Remember, you're going into passe. You're going into an attitude. You're going into a scoop under, you're going into extension, you're going into a let go, you're floating it down, you're side port of ride, you're coming back up into parallel, and then you're rolling down. Plie, straighten, plie, straighten, plie, straighten, roll it up. That's a fast forward, like if you were holding the fast forward motion on your camera, that's what that is. All right, guys, let's pretend we're going to be excited about this one. And ready. Nice breathing arm. Toes. One, two, three, four. Attitude, like someone's polishing those toe nails. Seven, eight, scoop under. Straight leg down below. Extend this leg. Letting go. Float it down and side toward the front. Coming up, parallel feet, roll down. Touch the floor, plie, I'll turn sideways so you can see. Straighten, breathing, plie, and stretch. And plie, this is our last one. And straight. Stay there. Relax the muscles that are tight. Roll it up. Finish with your feet in first position. Tall. All right, relax everyone. Ooh, yes, that felt excellent. Now, you can do the variation that I did. So when you're grabbing here and straightening, you can keep it there or you can grab your foot, okay? It's up to you. It's up to what your leg tells you it can do. All right, other side, first position. And tall, take a nice breathing arm. That's a breathing arm. Go to the toes, two. Now your weight is this way. Take it attitude, five, six, seven, Eight, scoop under, bottom leg is straight. 
Now you're going to straighten this leg. Then you're going to let go. And you're going to float it down and side vertebra. And coming up, roll down in parallel feet. Alternate side knees. Plie. And stretch. And plie. And straight. And plie. Stretch and stay there. Breathe. And start to roll up. Hands do not touch your legs. Finish in first position. All right. So in your spare time, or when you just randomly think about it, um, what you should try to do is do some roll downs and let gravity take control of your arms. All right. And some roll ups. It, not only does it feel good, but it's good for your mobility, but it gets you gives you that sense of where your arms need to be. Now, another thing when you're rolling up, watch my shoulders here. Don't have your shoulders by your ears. Push them away as you roll up. So basically, you're pushing your shoulders down, but you're upside down. So it feels like you're pushing your shoulders up because you're upside down. So you push them up to the ceiling, but you're really just pushing them into your body. Okay, let's go. Grand Batmain. So let's do that center today. So move your chair out of the way. I have four people on today. Thank you for attending, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Do, do, do. All right, so we're going to take, you can do fifth position if you're used to fifth. Um, I'm going to do first position. So we have one front, one side, one back, one side. So it's a grand batma en croix, we call it, in the shape of a cross, qua, in the cross shape. You've got tandu, batma, tandu, and close. Batma, tandu, batma, and close. Batma, don't kick your TV today. A batma, tandu, batma, and close. Other side, tandu, batma, I think you get the picture. Let's just walk it through so our leg muscles are even. One and two, three and four. I feel like I'm gonna kick that. Five and six, seven, eight. Now, as advanced dancers, if you're taking this class and you're more advanced than this, that feels torturous. It's like, oh, I have to lift this heavy weight. Oh. So usually we have the momentum and force from fifth or first position and it helps us kick our legs up. So this one's more for strength than for flexibility. All right, let's do it. Start with the right leg. Six, seven, here we go. Front, grand bama, large beats. To the back, stiff legs. To the side, under leg front. Tandu bama, tandu close. Tandu bama. Try to keep it tall in the tandu, but guess what? Your body's going to shift, for, your pelvis is going to shift forward. So if your pelvis, just like our flat back, it's like a flat back, except you're pulling the upper portion of your back up. All right? So if I'm pulling on your back and then pulling your leg up, your back would bend in half the opposite way and then give you back spasms for the next three days. If that's the case, you did it right, okay? So let us continue on with the center floor combination. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a little tandu. <laughs> we did this the other day. So this might look familiar if you took class with me the other day. You're gonna need room to travel this way which might be to your right. If you've got a right foot and a right hand and you're pointing to the right, that's known as stage right. If you're going this way to the left, that's stage left, okay? It's made so it's easy common sense for the dancer or the actor who's on stage. 
All right, so you're going to start on this side and use your right foot. Now, if you're more advanced, you can start in fifth position. We've got tongue in front, flex, hold on three, close on four, because you're te testing out that balance. You don't want to be in the improper alignment for a tondu. So like, for instance, I'm not properly aligned. Oh, okay. Or I'm not properly, oh shoot, I flex my foot, I fall. So you really got to be on that supporting leg like a tree trunk, okay? So one more time, we've got one, two, hold three, close four, arms go middle and arms open. Then you do the, let me see. Then you repeat the other leg. Front, time, do flex, hold three, close four, arms go middle, middle are sloping, they're slightly inclined downward, all right, because you can see the line of the arm, look, can't see them, don't even know how long my arms are or how short they are, so you want the illusion of length, so the illusion of length by doing this, it makes your arms look long and open, and then we have to the right again, to the side, one, again, you're balanced all the way over the side of your leg, Close, now notice I shift. Then present the arms high and open to second. Notice that shift. But I don't shift then tondu because that looks awkward. Ooh, look at, ooh, okay. So you're gonna shift in tondu at the same time. It becomes natural, you don't have to think about it. Flex, hold, three and four, five, six. I know you can't see my arms, seven, eight. Now from there, let me tilt this. From that position, you are going to arabesque walks this way. You're gonna step with this leg versus stepping over with this leg. This one's closer, so walk with it. Walk, two, if you don't have room, just do it in place, three, four, turn towards the audience, point your leg away from the audience. The reason is if you're pointing with this one, it's more of your booty showing, so you really want to kind of show this open position. You're going to take two steps, one, two, a small leap, because A, we don't have room, and B, we might get hurt. All right, so let's go over that section again. So you're here, you step one, two, these are arabesques, three, and four, step, turn towards the audience, have your leg away from the camera, run, run, leap. All right, step through. After you leap, you never just leap and land. I mean, you yes, the advanced dancers do, but usually you leap through and step out of it. All right, so let's try it from the top with music. I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna assume that you paid attention and know what to do. First or fifth. All right. I don't think that's it. <laughs> this is it. To the front. Front, flex, hold three, four, port de bras, middle, and open this leg. Front, flex, hold, close first, port de bras, middle, and open to the right side. One, flex, three, close, four, high arms, and open, other side. Point, flex, hold three, close four, five, six, seven, here we go, arabesque. One, and time run, run, leap, run, run, leap, step through, and since you don't have any room, dance to the other side. All right, so we're gonna take this side, Make sure you have room going this way, okay? And that was improvisation to get over here so you can improv, do any movements you want to get to the other side. All right, you can be in fifth position or first. Well, you really can't be in fifth because it switches. You have to be in first. All right, here we go. Can you see my feet? Tondu front, flex, hold three, close four, four to bra, middle fifth, and arms in second. Tondu, flex, three, four, arms, four to bra, to the right side, one, 
two. All your weight is shifted. Part of more up. Other side, shift, time, flex, hold, close, part of up. We're stepping this way. One, two, three, four. Legs turn. Okay, run, 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 lead. Run, run, lead. Step through and dance to the other side. All right. <laughs> I hope you're filming this so I, you can send me videos, copies of you dancing, and then I can critique you and watch your beautiful improv skills as well. All right, let's go across the floor. We've been practicing this one for a while. This is a waltz. This uh, waltz music is in 3-4 time. That means you've got three counts per measure. One, two, three, two. Let me play the music so you can get the feel for a waltz time. Two, three, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we might count as dancers, we might say probably this. One and a two and a three and a four. I usually don't go one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Just because if I if I'm playing a musical instrument, I'll probably count like that. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Um, but in dance. Or I'd say, in music, I'd say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? But in music, because we count the, to eight count phrases, I'd probably say one and uh, two and uh. Now, this music is really quick if you were to go one, two, three, two, but let's try it. I guess we could try it. So let's walk it through slower, and then we'll try the upper, the faster tempo. Start with this leg over here. <clears throat> Let's pretend this is the front of the stage, okay? So arms are up. You're going to lean towards that down foot, and then small, small, big step, little, little, okay? So you've got the little steps. Everybody walk around, just like when we practice the berets at the bar. You're nice and little. All right, and then the big one, big, it's like a taking a lunge, but in a turned out position. Your feet are turned out. All right, so we've got down, up, up, ready, here we go. Down, up, up, down, up, up, one leg. I always lean towards the leg I'm going down on. Let's try it from the side. I'm starting with my left leg, arms up, and down, down, down. Now, if you don't have a lot of space, it may sound silly, but you might be able to just go in a circle. Okay, but just remember to switch legs. All right, now let's go a little faster and see what happens. It's probably much easier to try to go in a straight line just because you might get dizzy. Ready and go down, up, up, down, up, up. Your down might not be as big. Even though it's still a big step, it might be a little smaller. Let's try it with music. Go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Now, if you're confused, just work the legs. So let's say I'm confused, so I'll just do my legs. Ready and go down, up, up, down, down, down. Let's try it again. Six. Seven, two, three, eight, two, three. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Keep going down. Take a half day, 
Round the same arm as leg. And a little faster for the passe walk. In the passe, it needs to pass. Your foot's passing through. All right, now you're going to have the arms here and you're going to jump it. Luckily, my neighbors moved out down below last week. I'm kidding. Last month. Arms high. Arms open. All right, let's practice some pirouettes. So, with our pirouette, let's do this foot. Now, if you're more advanced, you can be in fifth and lift your front foot. What we're going to do first, and what we're going to do is lift the right foot, and we're going to turn it away from our belly button, as if you're pushing it away from the belly button. On the door, out the door, going out the door. Your fingers are here. Why? Because then we, you won't cheat. And this is harder. But if you can do it from here, then this will be the easy version. One, two, three. You're going to turn this way and lift. Now, don't lift, then turn. It's actually turn, then lift. Turn, push off the floor. I'm literally pushing my toe in the floor to turn. Okay, so you're going to... Turn and push, and that's how you that's how you get a pirouette in. Okay, let's try it with music. All right, a couple bounces, push the floor, and bounce, push the floor, and you want to spot yourself or spot the monitor. If you fall, you just make it part of the dance. If I'm going too fast, you can always go slower. Woo! That was an ideal one. Hopefully you're getting some perfect ones. Let's do one more time. Montez, did you join us today? All right, let's do this side. You're going to be lifting this leg like away. On the or out the door, away from your belly button. Fingers here so you can't cheat. Push with this toe. Bounce. Toe turn. Ooh, I got a good one right at the end of the music. One, two, three. Push with the toe. One, two. I keep having a mess up with music. And turn. One, two, three. One. Andre, how are you doing? Andre just started with me and just started learning pirouettes before all of this seclusion quarantine happened. Push. Woo, we got a good one. All right, let's do one more for good luck. All right, so those are pirouettes outward because the knee's moving out away from the belly button. There are pirouettes inward as well. So once we incorporate both of those, your brain has to think really quickly like, is that on the or on the down? Which leg am I lifting? Which way am I turning? Uh-huh. So yep, it's just a jumbled mess up here at the end. Let's do some jumps because these are so much fun. Andre, you're probably excited about these jumps. We women are like, uh, jumps. <laughs> We are jumping, it's called sauté, and sauté means to jump. We are doing first position. We're going to be doing eight jumps in first. Now, a couple things to think about. Remember when we were doing plies at the bar? Plus, the bar kind of makes you stand tall. You know, you're not holding something little and bending over. You're holding something tall, so it makes you stand tall. So we're going to do our plié, push the toes. You're going to push into the floor, just like the pirouette pushes into the floor to get that toe up. You're going to push down, down, eight of those. Then one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Today, then we'll go and do four. Back in first, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Twist, sit. Twist, leave your feet apart. Twist, you get about halfway, and then you're kind of on the ground. 
continue around and go to your seated position. This is for the inner thigh muscles, actually the hip flexors. You're gonna lift. All right, we'll lift several times, we'll lift several times. You can follow me. We'll lift, we'll lift. Then we're gonna go down. I'm gonna turn sideways. Because you don't need to look at my bum bum today, you're gonna scissor. Notice it's my thighs that touch. All right, so you're really trying to get your thighs. Now, if your hamstrings are tight, this might be too difficult for you. You might have to put your hands under here. All right, to get you that support. If you're flexible, don't worry about it because this you'll just do this. All right, and then we'll do some bigger ones. We did this one last week because the next day I felt my inner thighs. The big ones, because you're pulling your legs up. Oh yeah, right in the inner thighs. Your adductors. Oh, we start standing. Okay. I was just ready to take a little nap there. Okay, eight jumps in first, eight jumps in second, four jumps in first, four in second. Now, Andre, you teach math. That's a pretty easy math puzzle, right? Eight, eight, four, four. But if we tried to make Andre do it, he'd be so confused. <laughs> Something about seems easy on paper. Then I tell it to you and you're like, yeah, I got it. Then once your body does it, it's all confused. It's like, oh shoot, I did eight. I was supposed to do four. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Let's see how you do. Ready? Six, seven, and eight. Hands on the ground. 
because um, you know what let's do one thing across the floor actually and what I want to do with that is well, I only have one song that we can play I have to use royalty free music so YouTube doesn't block me um, so what I would like us to just practice, and then we'll do a couple more little stretches. Standing up, we, because we don't know if we have lots of space, I don't know what your space is like. Let's practice with this leg. Run, run, leap. Okay? So you've got two runs and a leap. Start with this leg. Run, run, leap. All right? And because we don't have space, we'll just keep practicing this. Run, run, leap. It's my TV leg, <laughs> every time, all right? Run, run, TV leg. Do two more on your own timing. Run, TV. And one more, run, run, TV. All right, let's go back down. If you have a yoga mat you wanna pull out, you can. Uh, we're just gonna finish with a couple more little stretches for our glutes and our calves, all right? I'll stand sideways so you can see. You're going to roll down. Remember, I said to practice this. Hands don't touch you. Walk it up. And do the foot. Remember that foot exercise that we did in the beginning? It's for your toes and your calves. All right, leave one foot down. Breathing. You're going to feel it right back there in the back of the calf. All right, other side. And if you want, you can stretch this toe. Kill two birds with one stone here. All right, let's take our hands in the middle, like straddle stretch. Good. All right, let's go forward a little bit. Rock through your pelvis. If you don't have any range of motion in your pelvis, maybe you're up here, you could lean back a little bit and forward just to create that, that range of motion that has been stuck because you haven't done it since you were a child. All right, let's take our head to the floor. Walk it over to just the diagonal. Walk it back to the middle. And walk it over here. I hope you felt some mental stress relief by doing some ballet today. It helps to be able to focus on something besides our, our regular lives, so focusing on our bodies, what their bodies are doing, etc. All right, go to one of your legs and stretch over. Mine hurts a lot. It's my tight glutes. So a lot of us have tight glutes, but it feels like it might be your hamstring. It's actually it might be your glutes or your calves. Other side. If you sit a lot, then you'll feel it up, oh, tightening up all day. All right, let's take a gluteal stretch. I was trying to do my taxes today. That's why my butt is so tight because it stresses me out. I'm kidding. And stretch forward. Oh, I'm tight. Who knew? I 
feel on both sides today. Usually you'll feel it on one or the other, but oh, both tight, tight, tight adductors and adductors, well, adductors. Switch sides, switch legs. Now if you have knee problems and this hurts, you can do some other variations, like this one, where you stretch over the front leg. Or you can sit on a, a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball and just roll that around in your tight areas. So that will work out the tightness as well, especially if you have knee issues and that hurts your knees. This hurts your knees. That's your other option. All right, guys, take a big deep breath in and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And take a bow or a curtsy from a seated position. Well, guys, have an excellent night. I am running a ballet level two class on Thursday at the same time, 7.15 to 8.15 on my YouTube channel. So join in if you wish. And you can find all my classes listed in upcoming live streams on my YouTube channel. Have an excellent night. Thanks for joining me. Love, lovely to see you. And I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.